dear students in this video we are going to see the construction and the working of <coughs> telescopic shock absorber this is the constructional view of a telescopic shock absorber the upper end of the telescopic shock absorber is attached to the axle and the lower uh, end is attached to the chassis frame a two way valve v1 is connected to the rod Another one uh, two-way valve uh, V2 is connected to the lower end of the cylinder. The fluid occupies in the space between above uh, and below the valve V1 and also the annular space between the cylinder and the tube. A gland is provided on the head. So this is the gland which is provided on the head. Fluid scraped out uh, by the rod is brought down into the annular space through the inclined passage so this is the inclined passage okay this is the construction and now uh, we'll see the working when the vehicle comes across a bump the lower eye will move up so this is the lower eye it will move up so the fluid flows from the lower side of the valve v1 this is the lower side of the valve v1 to the upper side due to less volume of space above the valve v1 so here the space will get reduced so the less volume of space above the valve v1 then the volume of uh, the rod the pressure is exerted on the valve v2 thus the damping force is produced by this pressure of the fluid the fluid will flow from the upper side of the valve v1 to the lower side when the lower eye moves down and from lower side of the valve v2 to its upper side when a car absorbs uh, shocks from the road surface the suspension springs will compress and expand because the spring has the characteristics of continuing to oscillate for a long time of oscillation to stop so a riding comfort will be poor uh, even the damp oscillation is supplied shock absorbers provide better road holding characteristics and the improved steering stability to the tires the stronger is the damping force the more will be oscillations of the body but the shock from the damping effect becomes greater than the strength of the stronger damping force the damping force varies with the speed of the piston so this is the working of telescopic shock absorber so this question uh, has uh, more chance to ask in uh, 13 mocks in an university examinations so drawings Construction, working, advantages and disadvantages are must prepare with. Thank you.